Carlos Nelson with Cascade Media Group and What's Up Worldwide. And there's a issue that's been going on that is really a worldwide issue, that conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. And from my point of view, uh, mum has been the word uh, over here in the United States for the most part. And we really haven't heard from uh, the black community. And so I hate to even admit this. And when I call uh, Bishop uh, Cowell, cause I don't play with God. God hit me in the head about two or three days ago and said, Carlos, I gave you this uh, platform. Uh, nothing's happening with the Palestinians as it relates to uh, their plight for the most part. And uh, I want you to do this. And here I am uh, with the bishop. How you doing, uh, Bishop Cowell? I am blessed uh, this morning. Thank you for having me on uh, uh, Cascade Media. It is a blessing to be here uh, and with you. Uh, I wanted to uh, not belabor anything, but what what is your take on the the whole Israel Palestinian situation from an ecumenical standpoint and from a human standpoint. Whew. You know, we have always had this civil war going on there within the United States. Uh, and unfortunately, right now, the United States does not want to look at it, does not want to recognize what's going on there because they know that it's going on here uh, with the undertone of racism uh, because that's all that is there is racism. Uh, uh, and we have it here now abroad. So it's kind of like, let's sweep it underneath the rug, not talk about it, not mention it, and just hope no one notice we're not there to intervene or to take a side. Do you, do you think uh, that the African American community as a whole, our national leadership our, uh, in our local communities around the country, do you think that uh, that is even on the radar for uh, most black people? 89% of us don't even look at what happens on a national level. We look at what happens on a local level. We don't even look at really what happens on a state level, let alone on a federal level, let alone on a global level. That is one of our biggest downfalls itself. We're not informed. Uh, that's what I love about Cascade Media. They want to make sure that you are informed on all levels at the same time. Yeah, I, uh, as I said, the creator uh, knocked me in my head. It's been... I'm saying I've been very aware for some time because I've studied uh, the conflict uh, going back to ancient times, but uh, I've talked to you and uh, we've got quite a few other ministers uh, coming on. And uh, when I asked to come on, most, most people are saying, or most ministers are saying, about the current conflict, but I'm more uh, in in the word of the creator, the human, is this right for human beings to do to other human beings uh, uh, more on a moral uh, standpoint? In no form or fashion is this right. Well, you treat someone less of uh, than who you are. We have uh, demonized each other, and that's what you see there going on now. They're demonizing each other to make it easier to kill them. They're less than human. Uh, that's how they train. That's how they uh, look towards the future of someone's life. It doesn't matter to them. Their life does not matter. 
Do you think that, um, you know, a hey, hey, Bishop, because you've been on the show before, you know I'm the cutoff king. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and when you said that, you know what popped in my mind? I don't know why I'm trying to get myself in a bunch of stuff, but the the police situation here and uh, them talking about redirecting the funds uh, last oh. night, uh, you know, I have to be a troll basically because I have a media company <laughs> and and they had Quentin, the mayor, looking like a criminal in an ad. Uh, he's posted up like with the mug shot and they were saying uh, he's defunding the police, making the cities unsafe and blah, like he was a criminal. The whole thing and it was sponsored by, I, I, I forgot, but this demonization uh of of people that don't agree with you uh or or what have you and as i said we we're talking about palestine and that conflict but it rolls over to me uh when you start using uh force and things to our everyday life this is a even like with the uh the police force here in Kansas City. I really, 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 I can't stress this enough. Hate when something happens somewhere else and we automatically bring it home. I hate when something happens in another state and we react on it like it happened here and we start tearing up our own places. We are so controlled right now by the way that we demonize each other to make them less than human. Every time, and you know this to be true, that there is a conflict between this person and this person, one has to demonize the other to make themselves look good. We do that in the political arena. We do that with the police. We do that in a court system. We do that among ourselves. We do that across the seas. That is a major issue itself by belittling someone. So it makes it easier for you to hurt that person. Well, uh, let me say this. With me studying philosophy, psychology, and all of that, uh, part of the human condition in general, and then on top of uh, my eyes uh, being opened by having this media company, uh, you cannot expect human beings to act any other way than they've been programmed. And mm -hmm. uh, we have been in a Eurocentric uh, format and viewpoint for uh, since the ninth century. They uh, Europeans have rewritten history. So when you talk about rewritten history, uh, the only way you can rewrite history is have control of the different forms of medium that are, that are putting out uh, the lie. And yeah. so uh, uh, that goes across the board in uh, all, all, all forms of our daily life. Uh, I have grew up in a Jewish neighborhood where our family was the only uh, basically black family in the neighborhood and grew up in the Bronx, a all Jewish neighborhood. And when the wars were going on in the 60s, when the conflict really hit, uh, most of my community was sending money over to Israel. And I understand Israel's plight because mm -hmm. when Jews have been, uh, they've been demonized uh, since ancient times. And yeah. uh, when, when uh, the Holocaust took place, uh, uh, the leadership felt that uh, once they got a toehold in Palestine, that, hey, they watched the world watch them get crucified and now they're like, by any means necessary, we're gonna stay secure and forgot the humanitarian 
apart and one can't blame them to an extent. I wish black people would take that same attitude. Uh, I think we'd be yeah. moving uh, much further along. With that being said, uh, do you have any closing thoughts on on that subject, or would you like to talk about anything else while you're on uh, about what you're uh, what you're doing? The last time I talked to you, you talked about retiring well, and and handling. <laughs> when I say retiring, fact, uh, not, uh, not, uh, not, uh, not uh, uh, yeah, uh, I have done that, and we found a uh, a very smart, intelligent. Uh, business savvy young lady to take over the Justice Center. Uh, 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 Shioni Gibbons, uh, remarkable young lady, remarkable. Uh, and she is running full steam ahead. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm there now just kind of help her out if she needs it. But uh, as you know, the Justice Center has grown by leaps and bounds. We have two centers now open. Uh, and we're about to open up uh, uh, two more within a few uh, months coming up. Uh, and you're going to be I'm really surprised. With your uh, food drives and things. That's what I've uh, seen. The let. Uh, once I start really looking at what you do, per se, and, and, and your automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and my automobiles. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. It, it 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 is that, that that's that's my kind of retirement to myself is the automobiles uh a gift back to myself uh and i'm loving it yeah hey uh, you gotta treat it, yourself it, proper huh i see you eat well and you drive well you gotta you gotta <laughs> hey you got hey bishop i'm yeah. learning to do i'm i'll be 70 in uh july 29th and I'm just starting to really do things for myself. I do a lot of things for other people uh, and that I should be doing for myself. And now I'm uh, taking care of myself. And, and if I want something, I get it. If I, you know, uh, and that's yes. how I see you living your life right now and not caring what nobody else thinks. Well, you know, I've worked for 58 years, literally of my life. And in doing that, you know, I've always been given to others. A 105 year old man told me, it is time for you to enjoy your life before it's gone. There it is. There I've it learned is. to listen to wisdom. There it is. You know, uh, that Oh, that is perfect to close this on. And as we always say, when you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself. Yes. This program is brought to you by Flex Starfleet.